there. My name is Artem Fossil Newman. I'm from the GISC Regional Support Centre South East. And I'm here with my colleague Adam Blackwood. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We've been laughing a lot to get this far. We're here to show you some equipment from the Tech This Box of Assistive Technology. So keep watching. Hello, my name is Adam Blackwood and today I'm here with Artie Mossel Newman to show you some various ways in which you might choose to use video, perhaps for podcasting or for placing on your network. Today we're using a, a CyberShot, a semi-CyberShot camera to do, the, to do this video recording. And um, here we have some various uh, pieces of kit from the Tech Disc Toolbox. Use video to showcase your equipment, in this case the Tech Disc Box of Assistive Technology. And also, as part of this, we'll be showing you how you can do your own video clips and ultimately some vodcasts for people to download on their mobile devices. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to show you are the IntelliKeys keyboard, which is this over here, a wireless keyboard and mouse, and a tracker ball and a joystick and a small tracker ball as well. So we're starting with the IntelliKeys keyboard and I'd like to show you the, the sound effect it comes with when you plug this in. You have to install the software on your machine and you can see the lights lighting and now it will give you sound recognition as well. Okay, so that's told you it's recognized by the computer. And you notice, again, we've got an alphabetical layout on here. And this time it's in small letters, which again may be of advantage to some dyslexic users. So if you watch the screen over there, I type in, so it's a very light touch input. Okay, alphabetical. And you get the auditory feedback as well to tell you that you've hit the key. It comes on the stand, or you can have it flat, like this. And the real wow factor of this, it's my favourite favorite part, is you can change the overlay. So you can take this out, and then on the reserve, reverse, we have a QWERTY layout. So when you put this back in again, this is a kind of barcode on the side. So as you slide it in, it's recognised, and again it will give you auditory feedback, and visual feedback, to say it's recognised the new layout. And if you watch the screen, now we have a QWERTY layout. OK, so that's IntelliKeys keyboard. On to a wireless keyboard and mouse. This is the gyration suite. And it comes in three parts, a keyboard, mouse, and this is the base station that it runs through. So this just plugs into the USB port. And then the keyboard has a range of 9 meters, so it'll cover most classrooms and gives you the opportunity to get some interactivity going in the classroom. So one of the uses um, we advocate is to do gap fill exercises or to surf the web with this. And you can pass it around to your students, asking them to input as they go. So if you watch the screen again on this one here, I'll just type my name, RT Fossil Newman. Okay, and then I can pass this on and go to the next one. From a teaching perspective, and compared to interactive whiteboards, while the functionality of this is um, minimal to the interactive whiteboard, it does give you the uh, possibility to go and sit with your students. So it's a different approach. If I ask a student to come to the front and uh, interact with the whiteboard, I'm asking them to come to the front. With the keyboard, I can take it to the student. So I could go and sit with a student and work with them with a keyboard. So it's a different approach, which we know some people have found very useful, and they like that compared to the whiteboard. The mouse that comes with it has the advantage that you can use it off the surface. So in terms of doing presentations, I don't have to be glued to the workstation.